Okay. When you said that brought almost me tears, I'm wondering, so what about it brought almost me tears? Um, I did, I cried on the way to work. Did you really? Mm -hmm. About how you can affect people and mm -hmm. how it influences people. and In a good way. Yeah. So bad way. Yeah. All right. That's what I don't understand about society today. This is my, this is personally, this is my take on it. I don't understand about society today where, where people feel the need to influence people in a bad way. Where they gotta just beat somebody down, they gotta, they gotta degrade somebody, they gotta bully somebody, they gotta freaking do nasty shit, you know? It's like, for my aspect, it's like, it's so much easier and so much better and so much more positive to just be, to be nice. You know what I'm saying? Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, to, to, it's like, it's like going through your day, you meet somebody in a grocery store or wherever, and you just say, hey, hi, how you doing? Nothing else. No, that's it. You know? The cash register could be right. like looking miserable and terrible right. and just go, hi, I'll, how are you? Hey, I hope, I hope you have a great day. I hope your day gets better. You just you know? start talking to them. You just have right. a conversation with them. Exactly. And it makes their day like this person is talking yeah, to this, me. Yeah, this person, th th that person goes, wow, whoa, 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 what's going on here? I'm, I'm, I'm hating. I hate life. La I'm hate just being a life, cashier. I'm doing my job. Life sucks right now. I'm, I'm really kind of sucking it. And, and uh, this guy all of a sudden is just being a very friendly. And is being, why is he doing that? And, and there's no... There isn't any reason. It's just a matter of being positive, You're just talking nice to them. individual. You could just positive, say, nice you know individual. what? You could just say, you look really nice today. Exactly. Or, exactly. how are you doing today? You and just what? show them that you care and you give a bleep yeah. about them. You know, you know what? You look very pretty today. Yes. Without trying to hit on them how is or your do day? anything stupid. Yeah. You just, you're just trying to, it's like, boom. I mean, how? What's so hard about that? I don't understand what's so hard about doing that kind of stuff with um, other human beings. Do you know how many people go to the grocery stores, Walmart's everywhere, right. and they're like, they don't say a word, they don't say nothing. They just call, they stand yeah, there. They're just going through the. Market. And the cashiers are like, "Hi, how are you today?" And they're like, "Yeah, whatever." Uh, yeah. You know, and it's like, how about why don't you ask the cashier how her day was? Right. How are she's you a, today? She's standing behind a cash register. All day long. How are you today? All day long. Whether it's What's Walmart going on or with whatever you? grocery store or yeah. whatever it is. What's going on with yeah. you today? Hey, how are you feeling? You know what? I hope you have a great day. And you know what? There's a cashier at Ingalls where I shop. He's an older guy. He's a short, stocky, bald guy. He's obviously some, from somewhere in the northeast area. He's got a strong New York, New Jersey accent or whatever. But you know what? Um, every time I go to him, he connects with me. He knows he knows I'm a regular customer there. So he's like, hey man, how you doing today? How you doing today? You know, and um, you find everything all right? You know, and he goes through my stuff and he'll look at some of the stuff and says, so, uh, what do you got planned today? You got some grilling going on here or what? You know, so he starts a conversation, yeah. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and I respond back, you know, because he just, he's always trying to be nice, he's always trying to do whatever for, you know, for the customers there when he's there. My baby. Oh, look at that. Mm, you got to give her her pills tonight. You do. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And, oh, you should have tried to, you should have tried to see him. On the way home from the vet, right? I tried to keep him. I tried to keep him in the right hand seat. He kept crawling over. By the time we're coming down the road, he is. I'm, I got two hands on the steering wheel. He is laid, splayed across my my arms, and, and then he, he's up on my shoulder. Like that, he kept doing that. There's a love connection you know? right here. And then I'm like, dude, I can't drive like this. I can't. You're filming this. Yes. 
There's a love connection. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm trying, I was trying to film it coming home. You. And it's like, dude, I need some space. You know, and he's just like, I just, I, I need to be here. Look at that. He loves you. My baby. This is Dave's dog. My baby. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Spares mom and dad's no. dog. Because when I leave here, no. he's staying. No. Yes. Nope.